Meister looking at our work. Qui sta troppo piccino, quest'occhio, la bocca, l'acqua troppo grosso, il penso, non lo so. Grosso penso. Assembling the scaffolding in the church, September 2007. This is the area of the clearest story to be painted. Maestro Silvestro Pistolesi and Massimo Buccioni arrive from Italy. Sister Virginia, can you tell us what he's doing? He's taking pictures of Massimo's hands in various positions. So he takes a picture, and I go print it out, and bring it back, size it, and put it on the board. Ciao, maestro. Buongiorno. Hanging the paper for the first drawing that we're going to do, which I think is the Pentecost. Maestro Pistolesi's designs are projected onto the full-size sheets and the outlines of the figures drawn. The outlines are perforated. Cosa fa maestro? Un fuori tangi, ma... So Carp is hard to see there, so he's clarifying some lines. Si, va bene, perfetto. The frescoes are painted by applying natural pigments to wet plaster. Here, Silvestro is pouncing the perforated full-size sheet to make a guide on the wet plaster. Hey, Brother Thomas, what are you doing? He's painting the wall here. Didn't you just put that on this morning? How much do I have to take off? Yeah. A lot of it. Now oh, this is something that happens every day, right? Every day. Che pensa di oggi? Del lavoro di oggi? Sì, sì. Ottima giornata. It's the last day of painting on the Pentecost. Gosh. Yeah. Just putting the egg wash on. Final step. Here we are doing a new panel. La Torre di Babelle. The sky, the sky in a cup. Che cerca maestro? Delle ali.
Ciao Massimo. Ciao. Che cosa dipingere? What are you painting? Massimo paints the shofar, a traditional Jewish instrument. This is the exciting part. It's almost like an unveiling. Taking the scaffolding down. A great multitude from every nation, clothed in white robes and palm branches, were in their hands. And they cry out, Salvation to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne. Revelation chapter 7. The Tower of Babel. The prophet Elijah taken to heaven in a chariot of fire. The angels of God ascending and descending on Jacob's ladder. Jesus opened the book of the prophet Isaiah and read, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a noise like a violent rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire distributing themselves, and they rested on each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2.